Let's now get a perspective from the heart of the European Union, Brussels, where our correspondent Barbara Vazel is standing by. Barbara, Raab expressed optimism a deal will still be reached between the UK and the EU. From Brussels' perspective, do you think that optimism is well-founded? Um, it's a question whether Britain is still able, politically able, to move, to make further compromises. And at the moment, that doesn't look very good at all. Raab comes to Brussels now every week uh, or from day to day. He really wants to be present here. He wants to give the impression that he is do everything to push things forward. Morning, but they have reached coming. a stalemate, as we know, and the, the, uh, uh, the question at the core of uh, the problems at the moment is still uh, the Northern Irish border, no hard border between Ireland and Northern Ireland, and there is simply no movement on that question. And so uh, Michel Barnier here in Brussels and Dominique Raab, the two negotiators, are simply stuck. So if there's not a further signal from London, they can talk as much as they want. They're just turning in circles. So how likely is a no-deal scenario seen in Brussels? It's a question of timing, and the timing is really against Theresa May, the British Prime Minister. As she has her party conference, the Conservative Party conference, in uh, early October. If she survives that, if the hard Brexiteers are not going to push her out of office during that period of time, then maybe she'll have a bit more leeway uh, to make further compromises uh, in the direct direction of the European Union. If not, um, it becomes more and more likely because as the weeks race away until October, uh, until November, that seems to be more or less the latest date uh, to reach an agreement, um, then the odds uh, rise that there might be a very hard Brexit, a cliff-edged Brexit, Brexit or a no-deal Brexit, as Dominic Raab uh, today explained to his citizens. And one of the things uh, Raab also said, he assured Britons that they would continue to enjoy their bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwiches no matter what. Would Brussels stand in the way of the British BLT sandwich in the event of a no deal? Uh, it might, in a way, because if there are border controls, then the, the lettuce coming from Spain and the tomatoes might wilt in the trucks because they might be stuck there for three days. So how about a BLT sandwich with some rather elderly uh, ingredients? Britain might have to sort of look to what it has, look to its own means, its own agriculture, and sort of modify somehow. So how about a corned beef and... Uh, and cabbage uh, sandwich, something like that might actually be in the pipeline, Amrita. Uh, there will be changes for Britain. And Dominic Raab is just trying to tell his citizens that rather carefully at the moment, that panic might be rising over the next months. Right, Barbara Basil in Brussels. Always a pleasure to talk to you.